Before yesterday, the largest cap hits ever eaten on a dead money basis were Aaron Rodgers and Matt Ryan. Russell Wilson is going to cost the Denver Broncos more than Aaron Rodgers and Matt Ryan combined to the Falcons and the Packers. His tenure in Denver is over. Sarah Benger from Locked on Broncos joins me now. And Sarah, you're shaking your head. We knew this move was coming, though. That doesn't make it any easier to swallow at this point. If you're the Broncos and their salary cap, it's still going to hurt $85 million in dead money. Where do the Broncos go from here at the quarterback position? Oh, that's going to be a fun story to follow all offseason, isn't it, Peter? I mean, when we talk about free agency trades, the NFL draft, I mean, everything seems to be on the table right now for Sean Payton. Unfortunately, like the guys you mentioned, Matt Ryan, Aaron Rodgers, they, the Broncos don't get any great draft picks out of this whole thing either. They're they're saying goodbye to Russell Wilson and as a cut, you know, so it's no draft picks involved coming back to Denver, which stinks because they don't have a second rounder. You'd love to be able to get some type of compensation, but just going to have to eat the dead money going to have to trust in Sean Payton that's where Broncos country finds themselves now with I guess a pretty darn good quarterback draft class coming in at least a lot of a lot of people like a lot of different guys here, you know, beyond the top two even. So it's exciting from that vantage point. The Broncos haven't had a first round quarterback since Paxton Lynch in 2016. So mm. of course you, you want to, you got to make amends for a lot of different things that have happened in the post Peyton Manning era. The Broncos seem to be a bit snake bitten here, but certainly everyone's hoping for the more long-term option, which would be obviously the NFL draft. And so does that mean that the Broncos could be in, in position to trade up? Because we think Caleb Williams is going to go number one. Drake May, Jaden Daniels probably in the top five. Like then you're looking at J.J. McCarthy. You're looking at Bo Nix. You're looking at Michael Penix, some of these other guys. So what makes sense for Denver, given, as you mentioned, they don't have a second round pick? Yeah, don't have a second rounder, so it makes trading up more complicated because they they also need the draft picks to supplement the rest of the roster. It's it's certainly not an enviable position to be in, but I mean, if you get the right guy to go toe to toe and in the fourth quarter of a close game with Patrick Mahomes, that's what you need in the AFC yeah. West right now. You have to have that guy. So if you can get him, I guess you have to make the sacrifice to go up and do it. And Broncos haven't had a first rounder. They didn't have one in 2022, didn't have one in 2023, barely had second round picks in each of those years. I had to move up last year to get Marvin Mims at the end of round two. So you haven't had that draft capital. Now you're talking about the potential of if you want a quarterback, let's say J.J. McCarthy, you may have to give up next year's first rounder to go ahead and move up and get him. So you're really limiting yourself in terms of draft capital and you're banking on that guy being that guy, right? He has to go out there on the field and prove to be the guy to go toe-to-toe with the Mahomes and Justin Herbert now who has Jim Harbaugh coaching him and whoever the Raiders end up with. I mean, it's a tough division for the Broncos. It's tough sledding just in general, but they've got to get this decision right. Yeah, it seems like given the money that you're allocating to Russell Wilson at this point, if you're the Broncos, it takes you out of the Kirk Cousins sweepstakes, the Baker Mayfield sweepstakes, because those guys are going to want 30 plus. If you're Kirk Cousins, probably 40 plus million dollars. Can you can you have over a hundred million allocated on your cap to, to one quarterback that seems that, like it's not, not tenable for them. So is there someone in, in the veteran market, whether it's a Jacoby Brissett kind of bridge quarterback or a Justin Fields trade that you think also makes sense here for Denver? Maybe George Payton needs to go to Kirk Cousins and be like, hey, have you heard of Shohei Otani? Did you see what he just did for the Los Angeles Dodgers? <laughs> Let's try to work out something similar. No, I, I think, you know, that would be it would be fascinating to see. I know Kirk Cousins is I think he's what top 10 all time in career earnings for yeah. any NFL player. Pretty crazy. Quarter of a billion story. dollars he's made in the NFL. <laughs> Kudos to him and his agent, man. Good, great job for those guys. But I think veterans that would be realistic for the Broncos could obviously be like Jameis Winston, who has history with Sean Payton in Mm. New Orleans. I don't know if that would would end up coming up, but Davis Webb, the Broncos quarterbacks coach, he was a teammate of Sam Darnold's with the New York Jets as well for a period of time there. So the ties that bind, right? That's what you kind of look for, especially if you're talking about the Broncos already have Jarrett Stidham on the roster. He's counting another seven million against the cap so you've Mm. got Russell Wilson whatever he's counting plus Jarrett Stidham now you're talking about okay do we want to bring in somebody to kind of raise the floor at quarterback and who who effectively does that quickly here uh give me a, a potential landing spot that makes sense for Russell Wilson 
Pittsburgh, Atlanta, I think New England, anywhere that he has a direct chance to be a starter. He's got some friends, old old friends in Minnesota as well. So there could be something there, I think. But he wants to probably go where he's going to have the clearest chance to start day one. And I think maybe I don't I don't think the Raiders make a lot of sense at all. I, I think that would be strictly to, you know, stick it to the Denver Broncos to play them again. But I, I don't know. I think those are the teams that make the most sense to me on paper. Stay up to date all year on the Denver Broncos by subscribing to Locked On Sports Today and Locked On Broncos on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube.